In this presentation, we will try to understand arithmetic operators through REPL, that is read, evaluate, print, loop. So without any further delay, let's get started. In this presentation, we will try to understand the following topics. The first topic is understanding REPL. The second topic is using REPL as a calculator. The third topic is arithmetic operators in Python. The fourth topic is precedence of arithmetic operators. And the last topic is a simple example. Let's first try to understand the meaning of REPL. REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, Loop. But what does it really mean? REPL is a Python interactive shell. Let's first try to understand the meaning of Python interactive shell. Let's say, we are in our command prompt. When you first time open your command prompt, you will observe something like this. Instead of this name, you might have a different name. It doesn't really matter in which directory you are. You need to type Python in order to activate Python interactive shell. But it will not be activated until you press enter. When you press enter, you will observe these three arrows. These three arrows indicate that Python interactive shell is now active. This means that Python is now ready to receive your commands. Python is like an assistant for you. It can do jobs for you. You can ask Python to perform some tasks for you. For this, you need to type some Python commands and Python interactive shell allows you to do that. REPL is a Python interactive shell. This means that Python interactive shell is, in reality, read, evaluate, print, loop. Now, why is it called REPL? Let's try to understand this. REPL stands for read, evaluate, print, loop. First, it reads the statement, which means the command that you provide to Python. First, it reads it. Then, Python evaluates it which means Python understands what you have written and processes it. After processing and calculating the command, it then prints the result on the screen. This is the meaning of print. And then again, it starts the same process, which means it loops. So this is the meaning of read, evaluate, print, loop. First, Python reads your statement, then it evaluates it, it then prints it, and then again repeat the same process of read, evaluate, print. That is why loop is written here. Loop means repeat the process which you have done before. Python interactive shell is read, evaluate, print, loop. So, it means that Python interactive shell works in this way. First it reads, then it evaluates, then it prints, and then it repeats the same process. Now we know why Python interactive shell is also called REPL and we have understood the meaning of REPL. Let's now try to understand how to use REPL as a calculator. We can use REPL or Python interactive shell as a calculator. This means we can use REPL to perform calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and so on. We are available with a bunch of arithmetic operators in Python, which we will see in a moment. But for now, let's try to perform some basic operations, like addition and subtraction. For this again, we need to go to our command prompt, and we need to type in Python command, and we need to hit enter. In this way, Python interactive shell will be activated. This shell demands for the commands from us. This shell is activated, which means that Python is ready to receive commands from us. Let's type in this command, 10 plus 5. We want to perform the addition of these two numbers. 10 plus 5 results in 15. We know that. But how Python will produce this result? We know that Python interactive shell is REPL, that is, read, evaluate, print, loop. First, it reads this statement. 10 plus 5. Then it evaluates it, processes it. It then produces the result on the screen, which is 15. And then again, it is ready to receive the commands. This is the meaning of loop. This means that now again, it is ready to read the command from you, evaluate that command, and print 
the result of that command on the screen. So whenever you type a command and hit enter, Python will not only print the result, but after it will show these three arrows, which indicates that Python is now ready to receive the next command. This is the meaning of REPL. Okay, let's type in one more command. Let's say this time we want to perform subtraction of 10 and 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. So 5 will get printed. And of course, again, Python interactive shell will get active, which means that Python is now ready to receive the next command. In this way, we can provide a lot of commands to Python interactive shell. And in this way, Python works. So now we know the meaning of REPL and we know how we can use REPL as a calculator. Let's now see what are the different arithmetic operators we have in Python. We have a bunch of arithmetic operators in Python. These are those operators. The first operator is exponent. The second operator is modulus or remainder. The third operator is flow division or integer division. The fourth operator is division. The fifth operator is multiplication. The sixth operator is subtraction. And the seventh operator is addition. These are all the arithmetic operators available in Python. This means we can perform all these arithmetic operations in Python. In order to demonstrate all these operators, we need to again go to our command prompt and see how these operations can be performed in Python. Let's go to our command prompt once again. First, we need to type Python command here and then we need to hit enter. The Python interactive shell is now active. Let's type our first command. Let's say we want to perform 2 to the power 2. For this first, we need to write 2. Then for the readability sake, we can add one space. It doesn't really matter. Then we can use the exponent operator and then space and then 2. This is 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 2 is 4. So we'll get 4 as a result. Now let's perform 2 mod 2. 2 mod 2 is 0. If we divide 2 by 2, we'll get 0 as a remainder. Let's perform 2 divide by 2. This is flow division or integer division. As the name suggests, it will return an integer value. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we'll get 1 as a result. But if we perform normal division, 2 divided by 2, then we will get 1.0, which is a floating point value. We will not get integer value as a result. This is the difference between flow division or integer division and normal division. Then we can perform multiplication in the same way. We can also perform addition and subtraction. So these are all the arithmetic operators we have in Python and we can use these arithmetic operators whenever we want to. Now we have seen what are the different arithmetic operators we have in Python. Let's try to understand the meaning of precedence of arithmetic operators in Python. So what is precedence? Precedence means priority. Whenever we have an expression containing multiple arithmetic operators, we need to decide which operation will be performed first. Precedence helps us in doing the same thing. Different operators have different priorities. We can use the priority of those operators to help us understand which operation should be performed first. In Python, we know that we have these arithmetic operators. We have exponent, we have modulus, flow division, normal division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. We can perform all these operations in Python. These operators have different priorities. The exponent operator has the highest priority among all the operators. And subtraction and addition have the lowest priority. What does it really mean? If let's say in an expression we have the exponent operator and the division operator, integer division and the subtraction operator, then first, exponentiation will be performed, then flow division, and then subtraction. This is the meaning of precedence. These operators have different priorities. 
note that modulus flow division division and multiplication have same priority this means if in an expression we have multiplication and division then it doesn't really matter which operation will be performed first we can perform multiplication first or we can perform division first these operators have same priority that's why i have put them in the same group similarly subtraction and addition have same priority it doesn't really matter whether we perform subtraction first or addition first but it really matters if we have exponent operator and if we have let's say modulus operator in an expression then first exponentiation will be performed and then the modulus will be performed i hope now the whole idea of precedence is clear to you but in order to concrete this concept we need to take a simple example to understand the precedence of all the arithmetic operators let's say we have this expression 10 plus 5 to the power 2 divide by 5 this is flow division for the reference i have given this table this is the priority table or precedence table according to this precedence table exponent operator has the highest priority in this expression we have the exponent operator this means that 5 to the power 2 will be performed first which means we'll get 25 as the result then we are left with two operators plus and flow division or integer division integer division has higher priority than the plus operator as you can observe this from this table this means that 25 divided by 5 must be performed first which gives us 5 not 5.0 as we are talking about integer division then 10 plus 5 will be performed which means that we'll get 15 as a result so this is the final output python interactive shell also works in the same way first it reads the entire expression then it evaluates it and finally it will produce the result on the screen and then again it will be ready to receive the next command from you you can also type the same expression on your python interactive shell and see the result on your own so we have demonstrated how precedence works in reality this means we are done with all the topics we have understood what is repl we have used repl as a calculator we have seen different type of arithmetic operators in python we have seen what is precedence and how precedence works and we have demonstrated precedence of arithmetic operators through a simple example this means that we are done with this presentation okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation